Now watch what you guys can do with this trainer to stand out. Since you can place it like this and the all you need to do is just do like a full uh, spin and put it in the same position. So you see with index, all I'm doing is just this rotation, boom, and place it in the same position, just like in the beginning. To make it look even better, you see, like let's say before strain, you can move it from left to right while uh, rotating strainer. So again, just a few variations. The first one where it's like uh, on top of the bar and you just support it with your left hand and then do the strain then hold it in your left hand and when, while you hold it in your left hand, move it from left to right. So, whoop, and find strength. Okay, next is also uh, really easy, but slightly different. Instead of just uh, rotating here, we're going to rotate it this way. One, two. So you just place it on your fingers and hold it with thumb. So you see, just try a few times like this, and this is the end position. You just basically hold it uh, between these two fingers. See, we don't do it just like on the same spot. So you do it from here and place it right inside a shaker and then do the strain. I would totally recommend just to do a little movement and just do it from here to here instead of like on the same spot. Which looks really nice too when you do it like this. It's just much more impressive when you have little extra movement. One, two, whoop, and then the strain. So next would be uh, the most challenging, but at the same time, the most impressive. So you would need to practice just <laughs> with the um, uh, empty shaker now. And this is how it will look. One, two, and strain. So you see, it's, it's pretty simple, but at the same time, you actually, I would recommend to do it without uh, Cheeto shaker on the bottom. Uh, so, and first you need to try with your left hand, just do this, like one, two, with the reverse grip and your uh, strainer in your right hand should do this movement, you see? And, it, and, and all you need to do is just combine them two and do it like this, one, and place it on top. So you see, don't, don't try to do one at a time, the most uh, smooth it will look if you just do it together. One, two, and then place everything into the right hand and start doing strain. So you see, this, this will be the movement, you just need to uh, pick up shaker, so now with ice and with liquid, and you just need to practice with like maybe with, 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 with ice and liquid a few times, so make sure you're not spilling anything, it's pretty smooth, uh, you, you, you can do it slow, so you definitely need to do it a little bit faster, and then now you try to add a strainer, or maybe just like with one hand, pretend that this is strainer and place it, maybe actually you can try just with ice, so only with ice, palm, place it, smooth and strain so a few times one two and only when you're comfortable you can already practice with liquid as well so and then just you need to remember add this move and place it this is how you hold it one two three usually this one is the most challenging try to do it smooth only your wrist working not like the whole hand so like it will look really smooth if you do it like only with your wrist and with your fingers one two and honestly it's much easier than to do it with a bottle so one, two, three. This trainer is uh, kind of pricey, but I'm going to leave a link in the description where you guys can pick it up online for like uh, six dollars or so. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like it. I would really appreciate if you leave a comment. I read all of them. So of course hit the like button like this, and I'll see you next week.